And so hi guys, welcome back. Um, so in the last video, uh, we talked about running this uh, this case in parallel, this uh, thin pipe flow snappy X mesh. We're gonna refine piezo foam version um, of this process. Um, okay, so the thing is, uh, we ran into an error. So okay, so let's see the snappy X mesh log. Uh, it looks okay, and if we go all the way to the end. So the parallel run is uh, finished. And look, it's a run in 18 seconds. It's much faster than the regular Snappy X mesh. So that's all good. But let's look at the log.piezo form. Okay, so the laptop, it starts, and then it's trying to read a field P in the processor. So it says it cannot find the file uh, P inside the processor 1. So in fact, in each of these files, for example, processor zero, that is supposed to contain all the uh, boundary and initial conditions. So let's see, processor zero here, inside the um, uh, snappy multi-region heater, that will contain a zero file. And that will contain all the data that's needed, for example, T. Okay, so this is what the boundary field will look like. Okay, so how do we get uh, how do we get all these files here without doing it manually? So one one clue we can have we, we can take a look at is taking a look at this all run parallel. Run parallel. All right. So all run parallel. It's it says restore zero directory using processor. All right. So how do we restore zero directory with processor? We just put that processor mark on it, that extension. And hopefully that should put all the initial conditions into each of the processors so they can run in parallel. So we're gonna look at the all run parallel. And of course, yeah, I mean a side note here. Uh, the other thing uh, you might run into is that uh, um, yeah, you will run. You might run into the problem of not of our firewalls. So um, Windows ten, uh, at least for my computer, Windows uh, kind of blocked my running of parallel uh, uh, processes. For example, Snappy X Mesh and CH, uh, CHD Multi Region Form. All of that. So usually there will be a firewall pop up, and you just have to click Allow for all of them. Okay, so these are not going to spread virus again uh, to your computer but you got to allow it you have to cancel the firewall uh, blocking and you have to uh, just run it again and that's all you have to do all right so back to restore zero directory uh, restore zero directory is here um yeah here we and here instead we see that the block mesh and surface feature extract will run first and the zero directory was run after the decompose parallel and it's uh, using this uh, processor you know, suffix, uh, processor entry, rather. So immediately after running the, the Snappy X mesh, we should have a run uh, or restore zero directory processor. All right. So that, that, uh, that should help. And I'll just delete this and I'll save and quit. Again, I will run this all run parallel. Okay, so I'll fast forward to skip skip to the part where we actually do the snappy X mesh or piece of foam. Ah, yes, I almost forgot. I wanted to run this in. Uh, I wanted to run this in the uh, background so I can check it as we go on. Let's put an N. Okay, fast forward again. All right, so let's see whether it works. So apparently there was another bug. Let's take a look at the bugs. All right, so here's the other thing. So if you use a snappy hex mesh and we separate it out, we find another error. So we have a field P, but it says a uh, foam fatal to error number two. Uh, cannot find patch field. Alright, so 
what is this uh, supposed to mean? It looks like we need to run our we need we need to run something else as well. Something called split mesh regions. All right, so that will be uh, you know we'll, we'll cover it in our next video. Uh, so yeah, these are some of the bugs you might run into uh, while running this uh, parallel dictionary. Uh, okay, especially using snappy hex mesh. If you were not running snappy hex mesh in parallel, then you wouldn't have this problem. Probably, yeah. So, uh, well, I'll see you guys in the next video. And thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.